Uh, hey guys, so for my metals project, I will be making a table. It's going to be a hexagon shaped table, uh, it's bed and metal on the top. It's going to have like hot rolled bar steel, steel bars, 17.5 inches going around it and have um, three feet square tubing going down to three legs. Um, just want a table, really. There's really no need for me to have a table because I mean, I live in Minnesota, so uh, either way. <laughs> Hey guys, this is my first checkpoint video, and so far things are a bit uh, slow. Um, Phillips was gone, so baby Cooper, yeah, yeah, congratulations by the way. <laughs> but uh, what I was gonna start out doing is it's going pretty slow because I'm gonna plasma cut the top off since it's expanded metal, but I'm gonna start with that. But he's not here, we can't use plasma torch, so it's not really gonna work out. But as soon as I do cut it, like I've already got my plans for it now and everything, as soon as I do cut it, I'll be back up to speed, I'll be able to weld things together, it should be just fine. But right now I'm behind, and I'm gonna get cut back up. Hey guys, uh, this is checkpoint uh, number two. Um, got caught up, uh, Phillips is back, so I was able to get the plasma torch and my base going. And as soon as I get my base going, Got my things cut, and um, oh yeah, I couldn't get my uh, couldn't get my metal bars cut because this, the day after I got my expanded metal cut, bells broke first. Cut. The bed saw was done, so I wasn't able to cut that. But now I can, and I did, and I got the steel bars so 17.5 all the way around it. Got that welded on nice and tight. I first what I did, I did all the way across and messed it up. And then I realized quickly, oh, tack welding works really well with instead of metal, so I tack welded everything, and I'm planning on welding the rest of it together tomorrow. Um, I have the legs cut out, but I'm not going to do anything with them yet. I'm not exactly sure how that will go over with the expanded metal, I'm hoping it'll work. Maybe one of them will be weak, uh, I'm hoping it doesn't get broken anytime soon, but... Um, somewhat behind, but not too bad, I I suppose, I mean, I'm kind of caught up now. Got the legs and got a ball across and everything. Should be fine. Awesome. But, yeah, that's it. Hey guys, this is Checkpoint Video number three, and I was doing pretty well. Uh, got caught up. I uh, had my legs on, had the borders on, had the kind of metal, everything welded together, nice and tight. Uh, one or two of the legs is a bit weak, one of them is really firm, the other two kind of messed up on. It was the first leg that I did that I kind of messed up on, just because I'm trying to get a feel for it. Um, let's see. So everything's welded together, put it all nice and easy. Um, hindsight, I probably should have changed the leg, the leg height from like 3 to 2.5 or something like that just because it makes it a bit more sturdy when it's lengthy. Um, but other than that, the legs are doing okay. I mean, I put some weight on it, I kicked it a little bit just to see what happened. And I didn't kick hard enough, just so they would break off. But um, it, it looks good. I wish there was some changes that I would have done, like uh, the leg width, some of the borders I wish I kind of would have uh, kept a little bit more. Because uh, for some of the borders, um, like the, the expanded metal goes over the borders, so it leaves like a little bit of, uh, I don't know, overhang. So it kind of, it, it won't cut, but it it kind of looks a bit weird. But oh well, uh, I would grind it off, but I don't know. <laughs> kind of lazy, <laughs> I'll be honest. But other than that, I mean, I've made a few mistakes, um, but honestly, I'm, I kind of like it. I mean. It's not too good, not too bad, it's more that meh type thing, but for my first metal project, like major one, I, I, I kind of like it. It's pretty good. Yeah, I'm, I'm all caught up and I'm good to go. So, yeah.
Hey guys, this is my mistakes video, and I did pretty bad on something. So, number one, when I first welded on my borders, I welded the actual thing like all the way across on expanded metal, which does not work, and I tried to tack weld everything from the expanded metal up to where I welded it, which was way too high. And so that one I kind of had a tack on the inside, which I wasn't going to do, but I did it all the way around just in case. But um, besides that, I mean, I kind of, I mean, I, I tacked all the rest of them, welded them all together just so it stayed firm on the borders and everything. But I messed up on that one, I messed up on another one of the borders just doing that. Um, another mistake I made was with the leg, I put it on at a weird angle, so instead of being straight, it's like that kind of. I mean, it stays, it stays upright and it looks good, but uh, like you can't really notice it when you look at it, but I mean, it does stand out a little bit. <clears throat> Uh, another mistake I did is I got lazy and didn't clean out the welder. So when I was welding, the like dirt or whatever gets clogged up in the welder or whatever, and it came out and got stuck on the inside of the table. <laughs> like on, on the underneath on the border, it got stuck, and now it's just like some dirt ring hanging on there, and I can't get it off. But uh, oh well. Uh, another mistake I think I did was it was another. When I was in the expanded metal and I was welding it to the leg and to the border, what I did is I accidentally welded like the border to the uh, to the expanded metal instead of the leg. I don't know if I just phrased that right. When I was trying to weld them all together, <laughs> I welded the expanded metal to the leg and I didn't no yeah and I didn't weld it to the border, which the border is the extra support beam that I have going on for it. And so with that support beam, it's going to hold the leg in place a little bit more than the expanded metal would, but um. I kind of messed it up a little bit because I welded it the wrong way and so it kind of jumped around a little bit that also caused one of the legs to do its thing and <clears throat> that's the weak leg because there is one or two of them. One of them kind of strong and firm or whatever and one of them is just really weak like probably just football kick that thing off really softly. <laughs> Hopefully Phillips doesn't do that. I mean, do it now. Uh, <clears throat> other than that I guess I didn't do too bad. Some of the welds I did terrible on, some of them did good, some of them I kind of rush. A few of them I took a little bit too slow, but I'd rather go a bit slower than, you know, have like a skinny little line. But, I mean, it, it, it went well. I mean, I liked, I liked the class, I liked the uh, design that I had and everything. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I made a lot of mistakes, but these are probably the highlight ones. So, <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, another mistake that I made that I forgot to mention in my other uh, mistakes video, quote unquote, um, is with the border sizes, I kind of just drew a rough draft on my expanded metal with a, like, I think, mark, yeah, marker. And so when I was plasma cutting it, I kind of went a bit too far on some things, a bit too short on some other ones. So instead of having a like 7.5 average of like, or not really average, 7.5 on border length, it ranges from just below 17 to 18. And so I had to kind of like chop up some things, um, change the length of some of the borders. And so one of the borders I did, I'm glad I had no, an extra piece because I cut it too short. And so the extra piece just fit in uh, after I cut it. But I didn't do any like measurements or anything, I just roughly cut it. I was wrong the first time, but I was right the second time. Um, I did that, and then with the legs, I think, I think I cut one, just like, I don't know, a centimeter too short, but that didn't really matter. But I guess not, but uh, the borders, I did, I did mess up a little bit. The expanded metal, I also probably should have prepped a little bit more with that. I probably should have measured it out better. I probably should have put some tape or something just to like, show where it's at. Because uh, I kind of just did it roughly behind well, the welder or the plasma cutter, the mat, whatever. Um, but besides that, I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, it looks okay. Some of them, another thing I could have done is I could have go gone and grinded off the sides, like of the expanded metal overhanging the boards and the boards overhanging one another. Because some of them fit just fine, like they, uh, 
like I put together just fine. They keep going. Some of them overhang, some of them too short, like with the on the edges. But um, I welded them all together and they look okay. But I think one or two of them are overhanging and one of them's a bit too short. But other than that, it's pretty good. Um, yeah.